can strong Christian leaders fall into sin? They teach Christian standards. How can they go and break them? How is it possible to know the truth but live a lie? Today we will tackle the difficult question of how strong Christians can fall. Welcome back to our Change How You Think weekly video podcast. If you'd like to hear from us every week, then subscribe to our videos on YouTube or click on the weekly video tab at the top of this page, fill in the subscription form, and you'll get our free self-assessment ebook, Healthy Moods, along with your choice of mental, spiritual, or relationship information. I'm sure you've been disappointed and even disillusioned every time you've heard of a Christian leader falling into sin and being forced out of ministry. The first question that likely enters your mind is how can they act in such a way that is in direct contradiction to what they're teaching? Their fall creates such a wide circle of damage beginning with the leader himself, or herself spreading to their family, their church, and all who respected them. It gives the secular world another opportunity to accuse Christians of being hypocrites and proof that faith is just lip service to a powerless ideology. How does this happen? How can strong professing Christians make such huge moral errors? It all comes down to the battle between your soul and spirit. Your spirit is your eternal part that connects you to the invisible spirit realm. You can choose to connect to God, the enemy, or just ignore your spirit completely. Your soul is your personality, your mind, will, and emotions. It is shaped by all the events of your past and the conclusions you made about those events. The memories and conclusions are stored in your emotional baggage. When you become a Christian, the Holy Spirit takes up residence in your spirit. It is from your spirit that the Holy Spirit speaks to you, and you can sense God's presence. It's the location of your conscience and moral compass. Your soul contains all the painful memories of the past that have damaged your emotions, your self-esteem, self-confidence, and self-image. Jesus wants to heal all those memories and remove all the lies you believe about yourself, others, and God. So they no longer cause pain or influence your behavior. But you have to give Jesus permission to heal you. It's possible and unfortunately very common to become a Christian and never allow Jesus to heal your soul so you remain struggling with the wounds of the past. As long as your soul is in pain, it will be looking for ways to ease that pain. This creates a large vulnerability where the enemy can attack. The dark side will create situations to make you feel worse and increase your emotional pain. Then he will tempt you with sinful, immoral actions he claims will ease the pain and meet your emotional needs. The more pain you have in your past, the greater is your emotional baggage and the easier you can fall for this deception to relieve that pain. The need for relief will outshout the quiet voice of the Holy Spirit warning you of disaster ahead. This is the most common cause of moral failure among Christians. Many fallen leaders have later admitted to long-standing emotional pain that was never dealt with which made them vulnerable to temptation. The key to preventing these disasters is to allow Jesus to heal the pain of your past and empty your emotional baggage so you're no longer vulnerable to these attacks and temptations. When your pain is healed and your baggage lighter, it will no longer outshout the Holy Spirit and you'll be able to hear His voice and follow His lead to avoid those traps. So here's the message for all of us. The best way to prevent moral failure and sin is to allow Jesus to heal the pain from your past and empty your emotional baggage. If you'd like to learn what's in your baggage and how to be healed, come and join us in Free Your Mind. Free Your Mind is an online self-study program that will help you change how you think. It will guide you through a pathway of healing mentally, spiritually, and emotionally. Through 15-minute videos, regular live group coaching calls, an online community forum, and 24-hour access to our entire video library, you can work at your own speed anytime from anywhere in the world on any device to begin the life-changing transformation you've been looking for. You can learn more about it using the links below this video. We'll talk to you next week, but this week, allow Jesus to heal your past and protect you from falling.